Ok chicos, bienvenidos a semana número 7, semana 7. Uh, esta semana van a tener otro choice board. Um, so you're going to complete another choice board. There's going to be a whole set, I think, of seven, I think this week, different options. You're going to choose two again. Choose two assignments to complete this week. So we're just going to go through all of those assignments. Let me change the highlight here. Okay. So you're going to go down here. Here, again, it says choose two activities. This is also on Google Classroom, and there's a spot where you can turn your assignments in. So it says click, click below, click here. It's going to pop up. It's going to take us to our choice board, the PDF that I made. It's also on um, just like the assignment tab. So choose two activities to complete and turn into Google Classroom. If you need a flip the flip grade for any of these, you can just, I think, you might have to type it in, but there's the code that you need to get to the flip grade. So lip sync. First of all, you're going to find a Spanish song. It can be a Disney song that's in Spanish. It could be a Locura de Marzo song in Spanish. It could be a song that you found on your own in Spanish. You're going to make a lip sync video. I'm going to do one this weekend. I will be on the announcement that goes up on sa Sunday night. So I will upload that one. That way you can watch it. Um, that way you can kind of see. It's not going to be super great, but it'll be mean. Um, you can find the weather. El Tiempo in Panama City for three days. Report your findings in Spanish. Just like we did for like that weather report project, you're going to do, you don't have to like create like a visual. You can just talk about the weather um, for about three days using Flipgrid or using an iPhone video that you upload. Okay. Then we've got TV time. You can watch 15 to 20 minutes of a show or movie in Spanish. You're going to change the audio of the movie to Spanish. I want you to do some listening. You can have subtitles in English. In fact, go for it. Put subtitles in English. But I want you to write down 10 new words that you learned and what they mean. So your audio is in Spanish, but you can have English subtitles. Go for the English subtitles. Another option is you can follow a famous Latino on Twitter or Instagram. So like Sebastian Yatra, the guy who sings Un Año, um, or Juanes or any of the other artists, like from Locura de Marzo, might be a good idea. Um, so you can follow them on Twitter or Instagram. And you're going to write a quick four sentences on why you chose to follow him or her, what interested you about them, and just like a quick summary of like what they posted throughout the week. Um, and then we've got Play That Song. So you're going to write down three about songs that you like from the Locura de Marzo playlist. So it should be linked here. Take you to the playlist. Write down three songs that you like. There we go. It's linked here for you. And then I want you to write down like a lyric from each song and what it means in English. And like, so choose your favorite lyric. So something that like, either you really liked the melody or like how it sounded in the song, or you chose it because of the meaning. Then the option to talk, read about typical drinks. You can read this short reading, click on it. it, should take you to the Google Doc. Read it, it's about one page long. And they're gonna answer these questions based on the reading. So some of them are opinion questions, some of them are like fact questions from the reading. Um, so make a copy of that and turn it in. If you want some extra credit or you just want some extra fun, look up a recipe of one of those drinks mentioned and try it at home with what you have. And then your last option, um, you're gonna change your phone's language to Spanish. I have my phone in Spanish and like I've learned a lot from it. You're just gonna do it for two days and then you can change it back to English. I want you to write down 10 words that you learned from changing your phone to Spanish. So like whenever I like click on my phone, I have an iPhone on the home screen, the date is in Spanish. I've got like the days of the week and it has the month in Spanish. Um, if you go through any, it changes like any of your apps to Spanish. So if I go to like the settings, all of my settings are in Spanish. So like notificaciones, sonidos, vibración. And it has a little picture so you should it should help you figure out what things mean, but I want you to like, write down some words that you learned throughout or like by having your phone um, in Spanish. So those are your options for this week. Reminder, you just need to choose two of them. Um, I would love to see you guys, some of you guys do the lip sync videos. If you post it on Flipgrid, um, either this lip sync or El Tiempo, I have it set as private so other people will not be able to see your videos. It will just be me that sees them unless you give me permission. Um, to make it public. So if you want it to be public, let me know. I can make that happen. So if we go back here, that's all you have to do for this week is another choice board. End of week seven materials, and there's only one week left. Woot hoot. Also, if you want to read this, I've got all the words here that you might want to know here just for some reading practice. That would be great. But I will see you all in Google Meets this week. Adios.